Hi guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial on how to use the C1 XR charger typically found in the Kuta Copter product range. So when you open up your box, you will get the charger, the power lead, the charge cable to suit the battery and the balance port. So what we start to do is plug in the balance port and let's plug in the charge cable black on black red on red then we're going to plug in the ac terminal to the charger and you'll now see the screen boot up the screen will show lipo battery and that is where we want to start so just look at some basic terminology so you know what we're talking about this is the xt90 battery plug and this is the balance plug so when we say put the balance plug in the balance board this is the balance board and this is the charge cable so let's start by inserting the balance plug into the balance board now do not get this the wrong way around that will short circuit the battery and blow your balance board you will notice some locators and let's carefully insert it correctly into the correct plug inserting it in the wrong plug will be a problem then we're going to insert our battery plug into the charge cable there we go those are our connections we need to have to do a balanced charge the next thing we do is push start on the charger and the screen will come up saying lipo balance charge and there's going to be a number there this says 6s because we are using a six cell battery one two three four five six cells which will be 25.2 volt when fully charged. To change that value, if we needed to change or charge a four cell battery, what we need to do is push start once. And when something is flashing, it means we can change the value. So by pushing the minus key, we can then change it to 4S. Let's go back to 6S and push enter. The next value will then flash. If our battery is a 5000 milliamp, we will set the C equals, that's capacity, equal to 5000. So we just press the minus button until we get to 5000. Push it again, and this will be our charge capacity. Now various batteries can charge more than 5 amps, and certainly the Kuta Copter batteries, you could charge them at 10 amps if you like. So we'll set this to 10 amps just for the sake of the video. Right, now how do we start the charge process? We have to hold down the start key. So hold down the start key and it will check the battery. And now you will hear the charger start up. It will show you the voltage of the battery at start up. And there we go, the amps are climbing to show that the charger is now working. This is your time on, and this is the milliamps that's being inserted into the battery. And here it tells us balanced charge. Now, a lot of people ask, when is the battery full? It's all based on the voltage. So push minus once and it will tell us end voltage 25.2. If we push the right button twice, we can see now each of the cells, cell one to four and five to six on the next screen. By pushing it again, we go back to the main screen. That is how you balance charge your battery. Now, Often you might need to discharge your battery. So let's push stop and go back to the main screen. Discharging your battery may be required when there's an error that appears on the charger that may say Delta V error. In which case you need to get all the cells back to a low value and then recharge. So we do that by connecting the battery up, selecting LiPo battery and push start. It'll still say balance charge. Now we need to look for discharge. Push minus twice, and then we'll have discharge. Right, push start once, and we will select 3.1 volt per cell. Push it again. This is the charge value, and you can charge set that according to whatever you want. Let's leave it on two. And the last one, you'll see 6S, and we can set that to 5S or 4S. Since we have a 6S battery, we'll leave it on 6S and click Start once. To start discharging, we will then hold it in. 
now you will see it says discharge and once again all the same things voltage etc etc do you want to see when it will stop yes and what is the voltage of the cells push stop and it will stop the last mode of charging that you need to be familiar with is storage charge now when would you use storage charge if you're going to leave your batteries for let's say more than two weeks and you and then not use them then you want to put them on storage mode and this will protect your batteries and they will last a lot longer do not and i repeat do not store your batteries fully charged that will damage them and do not store your batteries on low charge that can also damage them so what you want to do is go to storage charge come to your main screen push start once and we will push minus 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 and there it says storage on the screen for us we need to, to set it now to the appropriate battery we have a six cell battery push start once set it to six cell if the capacity is 5000 that would be good 5000 and 5 amps now the charger can only handle a certain amount of charge and discharge functionality it will automatically set itself in terms of the amp discharge according to the power of the charger so once again here to start the storage mode all we do is we hold start in and now the battery will go into storage and you can see it says storage there and uh, it will set the voltage accordingly once again it's going to tell us our end voltage is 23.1 volts that's about all you need to know about the c1 xr charger uh, there is an optional charger called the up610 this is the up610 charger it's a dc only but it is a 200 watt charger which will allow you to charge much more quickly normally used uh, in the car on the beach uh, to, to fast charge your battery so look out for the next video on the UP610. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and fly your Revo 4 or your Cutocopter safely.